Ichin Kala is an ancient walled inner town located in the city of Kiva in Uzbekistan. Kiva is a historic city along the Silk Road, and Ichin Kala is one of its major attractions. The name Ichin Kala translates to inner town in Uzbek. Ichin Kala is surrounded by high walls that stretch for about 2.2 kilometers 1, 4 miles, and are up to 10 meters 33 feet tall. Within these walls, you'll find numerous well-preserved architectural gems dating back to different periods, including the 10th century. The inner town of Ichin Kala has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1990. It is known for its harmonious blend of Islamic and Central Asian architectural styles. Featuring intricate tilework, beautifully decorated minarets, mosques, madrasas Islamic schools, mausoleums, and palaces. Some notable landmarks within Ichin Kala include the Mohammed Amin Khan Madrasa, the Kalta Minor Minaret, the Juma Mosque, and the Tash Hali Palace. Each of these structures showcases the rich cultural and artistic heritage of the region. Ichin Kala Uzbek, Ikon Kluel is the walled inner town of the city of Kiva, Uzbekistan. Since 1990, it has been protected as a world heritage site. The old town retains more than 50 historic monuments and 250 old houses, dating primarily from the 18th or 19th centuries. Juma Mosque, for instance, was established in the 10th century and rebuilt from 1788 to 1789. Although its celebrated hypostyle hall still retains 112 columns taken from ancient structures. Notable buildings in Ichin, Kala, are Kanya Ark, Juma Mosque, Ak Mosque, Hazan Murad Kushbigi Mosque, Madrasas of Ala Kali Khan, Muhammad Amin Khan, Muhammad Rakim Khan, Mausoleums of Pahavan, Mahmud, Syed al Avuddin, Shirghazi Khan, as well as caravanserais and markets. Legend of Origin According to the legend, in the construction of the Ikon Kala fortress, Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, used bricks brought from the places he had conquered, and later, it became a sacred place. In another legend, it is said that the sacred water channel of Kiva, known as the Zavak Canal, was dug by Shem, the son of Noah, who was said to have a miraculous spade. Similarly, according to the tales, the construction of Khorezm began with Shem. Walls. In Kiva, the city is divided into two parts in the traditional way, the inner city, Ichin Kala, surrounded by the inner defensive wall, and the outer city robot known as Dishan Kala, surrounded by the outer defensive wall. The walls of the Ichin Kala are 810 meters high, 56 meters thick, and have a total perimeter length of 6,250 meters. Both the outer and inner defensive walls are made of mud bricks. Visiting Ichin Kala allows you to step back in time and experience the traditional atmosphere of an ancient Silk Road city. The narrow streets, bustling bazaars, and the overall architectural grandeur make it a popular tourist destination and a testament to the region's illustrious history. Structure The history of the construction of architectural monuments in Ichin Kala is mainly divided into four periods. The first period extended from the ancient period of Khorezm to the period of the Mongol invasion. The western wall of the Kanya Ark, the ancient tower in the northeast corner of the castle wall, and the remains of the castle wall have been preserved from that period. The second period was the restoration period of Khorezm after the Mongol invasion in 1220. During this period, said Alavuddin Mausoleum and other magnificent buildings were built. The third period corresponds to the XVXV centuries. At that time during the reign of Abul Ghazi Khan and Asfandiyar Khan, Anusha Khan's Bathhouse 1657, Ak Mosque 1675, Madrasa of Kojambar Dibi 1688 were built in Ichin Kala. The fortifications of the Kanya Ark were strengthened. A viewing hall, the reception hall of the Khan, was built 1686-1688. As a result of the war between Bukhara and Iran for the Khanate of Kiva, one street half of the 18th century, 
The Ichin Kala, and in general the city of Kiva, were severely damaged. Kiva was a province dependent on Iran for some time. The fourth period includes the 18th 20th centuries. During this period, mosques, madrasas, tims, and mosques were built based on the traditions of local Central Asian architecture. A main road was built between two gates of Ichin Kala. At the end of the 18th century, the Juma Mosque was rebuilt and a tall minaret was erected next to it. The ruined walls of the Ichin Kala were restored. Several buildings were repaired. In 1840-1842, the two-story Timon Indoor Market was built in front of Kutlub Murad and Nak Madrasa. During the reigns of Muhammad Rahim Khan, 1806-18-5, Alakali Khan 18251842 and Muhammad Amin Bahadur Khan 18451855 the construction of the Ichin Kala was accelerated a magnificent palace madrasa mausoleums were built the construction of the palace in the Kanya Ark was completed a new and large Toshhovli palace was built a part of the fortress wall near the Polvan gate was destroyed and the Alakali Khan Caravan Palace, Madrasa, and Tim were built in its place. And the Pahavan Mahmud Mausoleum, which is a wonderful example of folk art, was erected. Arab Muhammad Khan and Musa Torah Madrasas were also created during that period. Muhammad Amin Khan built a minaret known as Kalta Minar in the western part of the Ichin Kala next to the Kanya Ark. Although this minaret was not finished, it is well known among other monuments of Ichin Kala.